M0FXBX6100. M0FXB, just have a, gonna have a quick go at running, uh, thanks to Scott here on uh, at Zygu site here, how to run this. And now, there's, when I go further down, there's a YouTube link which I've done to uh, download the image. So there's a link here which I'll put in the description as well. Thanks very much to Crazy Cats. Uh, and then show more, and there's a link there which I shall share. Um, and I've managed to load it, and you'll see that you do have to, when you turn it on, you do have to hold down the second button along for it to, to load that image. We, when I say second button along, I mean this one here. So you, once you've got the image on the SD card, it's in the radio. Turn this, hold that and this at the same time, and then I found that the image did load and got me to the, the login page. Now I need the password. So to get the image, go to the video, which I'll have a link here. Right click that and select open a new window. Click save. Eventually you'll get this and keep it. You'll end up with the Armbian image. If you haven't already got Rufus just download it to load the image and the way you do that is just at the top here where it says device just select your SD card then select here to select the image and the image you need to select looks like this just click select and then you would have saved it somewhere so you've got Armbian double click that once you've double clicked that then just go to start here click start and then this will go all green and then at the end of it it will say ready it will look like that now take out the SD card. Remember to have your 12 volt supply connected to your X6100 and put that into your radio. If you've got your image on your card, just put it in that way, click it in, and then turn on by holding this button and this button here. This one and this one. And it will come up with a weird screen. You need an external power supply connected as well. There, yeah, I get that funny screen and then it starts to kick in. M0FXB, so we're loading up this uh, image to see if we can get it working. We did have to hold, but when we hold turned it on, we did hold down this button as well, otherwise it wouldn't go into into loading. So, uh, so far, something's happening. It's quite fun. Let you know what go what happens next. Right, we've got to this screen. It says login and username. Um, we I've connected a mouse here, and it's connected to the bottom one. So the host. Like so. So I'm sort of doing this in front of you. I actually don't know what I'm doing. Let's click username. Yeah. Oh, it looks like we might have to plug in a, a keyboard. Um, we tap in. Do we tap that? What about we tap here? I uh, don't really know what that means. So, yeah, like I said, don't really know what we're doing, but we want a keyboard, don't we? Let's see if we can plug in a keyboard. Right, keyboard in, and uh, we're using the tab button to sort of move around where the cursor is. Just hit the tab, and then you get to the point where you can type that in. Let's put in uh, root. Like so, enter, and then it's one, two, three, isn't it? That's what it normally is. Let's see what we get. Invalid password, please try again. So I need to ask the person who's, you know, made this image. Root password, you know, for them usually is one, two, three, but... 
It's probably different. I'll find out. Catch you on air, all the best. And you'll notice that you can hear the radio in the background as well. So just out of interest, I'm going to t take out, turn it off. Like so. Take the SD card out when it goes off completely. Right, it's off now. Take the SD card out with the image on. And then just turn it on and see if it now just boots back to normal. Like so. And I'm curious to know if it's which version it's running as well. Because I haven't made this image. Let's just do it again. Right, they're a bit glitchy on and off these Zygus. Yeah, so it's come back on as normal. Let's have a look at the version we're running. System. And then I'll go to System Info. And yeah, it's the latest version. So we're back on the login page. We're going to use the tab button again and try, try the password 1234. The username is root. You hit the tab twice, type in with the keyboard. That could be three times, but you'll know because you'll be able to type and you'll see that the letters appear. So we've got root in, we're going to hit enter. Now we're going to put 1234. And hit enter. And that seems to be letting us log in now. It's gone black. Let's see what happens next. So we're coming up with this kind of screen. So it's definitely running it. Now, I've never used this ever. So I'm probably just going to swap it around get my mouse on there. And, um, you know, I've got my adapter here. For I can plug in a mouse or a keyboard. It makes sense to have a, a combination mouse-keyboard. So there you are, it's showing this. We now can run um, Ambien. So yeah, keyboard's in. And we have a mouse up here. Let's click on a few things. Right. Click applications there. We've got all this here. Settings. Have a closer look. Terminal, file manager, run program, so it's pretty good, web browser, it's showing Bluetooth here, I'm interested to know if it would uh, send Bluetooth audio, probably not, but um, Wi-Fi somewhere, So I need to explore this a lot more. Connect to a Wi-Fi network. I'd like to know how to get an on-screen keyboard, really. Uh, connection, network name. I need a keyboard mouse, don't I? I'm sure there's going to be an on-screen version. So, if we were on the internet, we could go to WebSDR, couldn't we? That would be good. What else have we got? Logout, system, internet, Chrome browser, type VNC, viewer, I'm sure that's going to be handy, accessories. Sorry, it's not the clearest picture. Settings, Bluetooth manager. Just click that for fun. Search. What else we got there? Terminal emulator. Is that like? Never use that. Run a program, so things like FT8, all that kind of stuff. You know, 
I'm sure I'll like. So that's bash. Applications. Right. Okay, I'll load this video and then I'm going to have a bit more of an explore on this. 7-3, all the best.